What's up guys, it's JJ. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today I have a part two for the Novation Launchpad tutorial I did a year ago. Um, I have it, so it basically the software changed from Ableton Live 9 to Ableton Live 10. Changed it a little bit. Um, it made it a little bit more compatible and a little bit easier. So I'm just gonna show you how to do it real quick in uh, Ableton Live 10. So this is how you configure it. So right now, all I have set up is the launch pad. I have on the MIDI ports selection up down below, I have the input and output on track on and remote on, sync is off. And control service input and output are all launch pad MK2. Um, that's very simple and they changed it. It used to be a little bit more uh, complex, I think. I don't know, maybe that's the same, not sure. Now for the actual setup, it used to be that you used you used to have to have two MIDI things open. You used to have to have this from the input coming in to going to MIDI 2, and then going to all ins uh, to Launchpad MK2, and you have to have it on channel 6 for both of these. And then it would then glow lights, but they changed it, and that's not how it works anymore. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight here. I'm going to do monitor in. I think I have to keep it on monitor in. Um, but I think, watch, so, no, oh, I have to go to user one, my bad. Um, okay, so look, it lights up now. And so you can see colors. Now on my previous video, I showed if you go to MIDI effects, you can go down to velocity. And if you drag that down here, when you're selecting this, um, you can change the color uh, that you want to use for the, for this. So I actually am very confused why it's multiple colors. It's both orange and pink. Is that, oh, this is so cool. All right, so if I go here, is it going to be, okay. So I have two different inputs going in, both this one and this one. This one being the orange one, this one being the pink one. So if I take a velocity and put it down here, and I make it like, let's make it 77, and this one's at 59. I wonder if it'll, okay. So now that I've selected it, it's only green. Now I go to this one, it should, okay, weird. So all you need to do is just go and you just need to do this right here. Um, you don't need to worry about putting this. You just need to have all ins and have the output to be Launchpad MK2 with channel six. You don't even need to worry about doing the MIDI to to MIDI anymore. That's how it used to be in uh, Ableton Live 9. But all you gotta have is this. You don't need to worry about the channel one anymore. So technically you could all just do this in channel, channel one. I don't know why I did it in channel two, but hey, and there you go. Now you can uh, do whatever colors you want and stuff. Um, assuming you've already watched my first video on how to set it up, I'm not, this is not a setup video, of course. This is just showing you the new um, way to do it. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe and like for more and comment if you want me to do any other videos if you're confused on something. Uh, thank you and have a nice day.